I lost my mind months ago, falling trapped to the lies I told myself in the mindset of fear. Medicated with isolation, making love to the triggers of my soul. Finally seeing myself and worrying for my well-being. On a good day, your heart only breaks once. Your panic doesn't crush your lungs and the silence doesn't consume you. On a bad day, your body turns into its own corset, constricting, hollow, empty. Your body convinces you that you are dying, and even though you aren't, even though the body can only panic for a maximum of about 20 minutes, every piece of you, every basic primal piece of you is screaming to survive. The clock keeps ticking, your lungs keep breathing, but your soul has cracked a little more. Tell me, why is it that between your body and your mind, only one can breathe at a time? My brain is a cinema screen and a theater built for one. Desaturation and a world built for technicolor. I have become the antagonist in my own motion picture. Irrational, self-sabotaging, aware of the oncoming train, but unable to step off the tracks because it doesn't matter what you know when what you feel takes over. Retreating back into the barracks of my mind because only I understand, only I feel this way. Mental illness is a Trojan horse and his biggest trick is convincing you that you are a one-man army, the sole survivor of a losing battle. Depression shames you into silence. Anxiety coerces you into surrender. I am a prisoner of my own mind. Every day is another jailbreak. And if I make it out, I have to be a person again. Hope encompass my relationships. Yet I soulfully distance myself from them and my culture of fear that only lived in my head. Balancing support and isolation, a physical distance from my affectionate closure. Closing the door on the outside world. Opening my soul to this love. This love-making party that is this world. That has cried soft tears seeing me lose my mind and my culture of fear that they must not let in with its conspiracies. This is not a eulogy. This is a love note to those left behind and to those fighting against all odds to hold on. Break the silence. Make yourself be heard. Erase the stigma. This is not a death sentence. This is an obstacle to overcome, and eventually, life will be colorful once again. In the nature of ascension and hope, it is a privilege to do so, because it is easy to close the door, but not so easy in staying. Staying when the arguments break my soul, it's not easy finding a balance, balancing the quiet and a loud mind and allowed mine within this our world.